Hi everyone, welcome to this video and here I will show you how you can use the TK Inter toolkit in order to build the user interface of your summarization application. So here is our project and just under our backend functions I will create the TK root. So let's do root equals to TK dot TK. So now the object root has all the attributes for a TK user interface. So now let's do root dot title and this will be the title of our application so let's do text summarizer and then let's do root dot configure and let's set the background so i will do bg equals to white and of course you can choose any color that you like then let's set up the header font so i will do header font will be equal to open sans the size will be 16 pixels and then I will make the text bold. So this will be the font of our header. And now let's create it. So I will do header equals to tk dot label root. Then the text in our header is going to be here and it will be equal again to text summarizer. So I will just copy that and paste it here. Then the background will be again white. And finally the font will be equal to our header font. Okay. So I will just paste those elements one under the other so it is more presentable. Then let's do header dot pack. So let's do some padding equals to 20 pixels. And this is how your TK inner window setup looks like. So now let's create the function that will actually prompt us to get the file location so later on we can pass it to our summarize text function. So let's do df browse file and then let's do file underscore location will be equal to file dialog which is what we imported here from tk inner dot ask open file name. Okay so here we'll prompt the user initially from the root directory then let's add title I will add here select file then let's do file types and the only types that we will accept are word files so here i will do word files comma and we'll open only files that end with docx or if we select any other file we'll mark it as all files and this will be the extension of all the files so pretty much we'll say that every file will be acceptable and now Let's say if we find a file location, so let's do if file location, so if this method was successful, then what we want to do is to create an element called summarized text and this will be cool and here let's run our function summarized text and we'll pass the file location that we just got here. Then we'll do text underscore field dot delete one dot zero comma tk dot end and don't worry for this underlining here we're going to fix that soon then let's do again text field dot insert and here we will do tk dot end comma summarize text okay so it is to delete what's previously been in the field where the summarized text will be displayed and then place the new one okay so once we're ready we need to create the browse button so using this button you'll be able to select a file from your file system right you need to have some button in order for the users to interact with it so let's do browse button will be equal to tk dot button and then we will define that this button will be into our window so i will do root comma let's add text and let's write here browse then let's add a command will be browse file then the background of our button will be some shade of white so let's paste it then the text is normally marked with fg and i will just create the text the text to be black then let's add some relief i will just set it to be flat then the border width will be zero then when we hover over the button we also want to have some background i will just set it up to be the same and then let's add active foreground which will be white okay so this is all about the button then let's configure the text in the button so i will do browse button dot config and then let's set the font so it will be Ario 12 pixels and I will do it bold then let's set the width to be equal to 10 and the height will be equal to 2 and then let's do browse button dot pack and we're all set with the browse button now the next thing that we want to do is to set the text field where the text will be displayed so let's do text underscore field will be equal and you can see that here this error now disappeared because when we call this function the text field will be automatically picked up 
and then the text will be placed there. So let's do here tk dot text. Okay, so let's do here root. Then the height will be 20. The width will be 50. The background will be white so the text can be displayed. Then the foreground will be black. So this will be the text. Then let's do a the relief is going to be flat and the border width will be zero. And finally the text field will be packed here. Okay. And then let's do root dot main loop, which should run our application. So guys, this is your application. It is completely ready and now you can test it out. So you can see that after I run it, you can see your test summarizer application. Here is the browse button and here is the window where you will be displaying the summarized text. Now before being able to run this up, of course, we need a word file with text there, right? So I will just go to the Wikipedia and Let's just choose a random article. So I'm just selecting a random article called List of National Football Leech Rushing Champions. But please choose any article you like. And I will sim simply copy that. Then create a Word file. Okay. And I will paste it here. I will choose to keep it as a text. So I remove the hyper references. Okay. And this is our text. So let's save that. And let's actually paste it in the same folder as the word summarizer. Okay, so I will just paste it here and maybe I'll create a new folder that will be called files. Okay, and let's call that football. Okay, so we have now our article and you can see it is right here in files. It's a word file. So let's now use our summarization app and see if it's going to work properly. So here's our application. Let's click the browse button and you can see that we successfully navigated to our window and you can see that the header here is select file so this is what we expect then i will click the word summarizer files and select the word file that we've got so let's click open and then you will see that we need to wait a few seconds for the ai to process it and then here we go you have the summary of the article in just a few seconds and you can see that we've got that the american football has two main methods of advancing the ball down the field rushing and passing then you can see the guy who won the rushing title and was the player with the most rushing yard so you can see we choose a completely random article and our application was able to summarize it now one thing i want to mention you're completely done with the application but if you want to for example extend the width of your text field or to change your button you can definitely do that using and modifying the variables here i even encourage you to do that so in that way you can see what variable controls what it is quite interesting to see that you can use the chat gpt to interact with, with your software applications and of course if you want to for example uh, have more detailed summary you can definitely extend this limit here from two to for example five sentences you can also add some more context to what you ask the ai to do for you you can become really creative with your application and now from this prompt here, you can ask the AI to do whatever you like with the text. So this is how guys, you can build local applications on your device using OpenAI ChatGPT. I hope this quick tutorial was useful for you because this is another way to build application and eventually sell it, for example, in the App Store. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.